All right, so we're leaving the Desert Queen mine here. And we're gonna continue on to the Eagle Cliff mine. I may have to switch batteries in the camera at some point down to So, here's one. Can't see the bottom. There's another one over there. and I don't really remember this one. Huh. All right, I think we're gonna take a break here, and catch our breath in the shade. We'll be back in a minute. All right, back. All rested up, I hope. Anyway, as tempting as that seems, uh, I just feel too drained to uh, even bother checking it out. I'm not normally one to turn down a going in and exploring something new, but I'm just too uh, tired for it. My legs are a little shaky. I haven't been out in a long time. I haven't got an exercise like this in a while so kind of taxing on me anyway enough of that let's make our way because we're still gonna have to go up a, a hill we're gonna have to find our way to the trail maybe this trail here will lead us to it as you can see you got little pits all around here filled in and you got more covered ones but let's keep going before we go to change out our country Easy out here. 
and it sucks you can't see down there especially with the camera and those people that took the long route they're starting to catch up all right so we're gonna take this to the right And what's funny about the Eagle Cliff Mine is when I first came here over 10 years ago to look for it, I had no idea where it was, like pretty much at all. Um, I had seen a few pictures online from people that had found it before, but they wouldn't disclose the location. And there was no trail to it. There's nothing, I don't think it's on any of the, well, it might be on the park maps now, but at the time it wasn't. Um, so I just came out, because I had a feeling it was around the Eagle Cliff, or the uh, Desert Queen Mine. And uh, so I came to Desert Queen Mine, and then I noticed that there was a trail past it. And I was like, yeah, there's gotta be a reason there's a trail past it. So I followed it, and it led me down into this little valley, and from there, I had no idea where I was going. I seen what looked like an animal trail up the mountain, just a real thin, narrow trail that kind of zigzagged up the hill, and uh, followed that to the top, and then from the top there was no trail. So I just kind of searched around for about an hour. Couldn't find it. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna go this one last way over this way before I head back. So I went that way and uh, kind of opened up and then I found a mine. And I was like, oh man, maybe I'm getting close. Oh uh, look, they got more equipment down there. Huh, I don't know if I've ever been down there. I don't know if there's a mine down there or not. Maybe, I think maybe there is from when you get to the other side of the trail over there. You can look back and I think there might be. But I don't think I've ever gone down there because it was covered and I'm not much for going uphill. <laughs> but anyway, so I had found the mine and I, uh, continued past it and sure enough I found the Eagle Cliff Mine House which is a pretty cool spot there's like pans and cans and it's like a little house pretty much doesn't completely enclose but it encloses about three quarters it does have like a roof and it's kind of built between some rocks pretty cool But yeah, once we get to the top and curve around the corner up there is when it takes us down into the little valley. Um, when we get to the top up here, I'm gonna stop it so I can check my battery because it's not showing me a percentage right now. And maybe I'll just switch it. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff down there, geez. Huh. 
right, so from here you can see that there is a hole into the rock over there. Uh, like I said, I don't think I've ever been down there. So I do not know what that one's like. Depending how I'm feeling on the way back, maybe I'll head down there, but I imagine I'm gonna be pretty tired. I'm already tired. Let's see if we get any of that energy back. And right up here's where I'm gonna check the battery. that corner where it goes down into the valley it's this next hill over here over there and then it drops down into a valley uh, I don't remember how far this is but I think round trip it's like uh, between four and six miles for the whole thing round trip where it drops down. I'm gonna go down between these rocks and then I have to climb them back up.
when I say between the rocks, there's just a few rocks that we go between. Depending on which way you walk, I guess. And then basically it's going to be like on the other side of all those rocks up here. It's going to be on the other side and down. But I do not suggest going that way. It's a lot harder. You're going to be climbing over a bunch of boulders, jumping from rock to rock. And then it is a lot uh, more difficult to find the actual cabin, house, whatever you want to call it. So I'd say if you're trying to find it, just follow this path that I'm taking. It's the easiest way. Go all the way up there and then we turn left well, I do see some people coming down the hill from up there whether or not they found the cabin or the house who knows get a little tricky through here. I'm gonna wash right now. It seems to me I was up that way more last time when I crossed this, but as long as you can make your way to that mountain peak. Nope, actually I think this is the way it went last time. I think I followed this wash up. And you can see there is a little bit more of a defined trail now. Rock lining it. Good. How are you guys? Good. Good. Did you make it all the way to the house? We did. All right. Yeah, it's a couple nice. other people up there too. Yeah. Cool. Kind of steep going out though. Right. Yeah. Park? Oh, you've been there. I'm sorry. Did you come from the Split Rock parking lot? No, I came from the Desert Queen mine. Desert Queen? Yeah. Oh, the Desert Queen mine. Yep. How far away was that from here? <laughs> this track, yeah. Uh, I'd say it's probably like two miles. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Have a good one. Thanks, you too.
Yeah, so as I thought, the uh, Eagle Cliff mine is uh, not too hidden anymore. And there is another way in, like they said that they parked at, I guess they said Split Rock. Um, I don't know what Split Rock is, but I know over by like, across from Skull Rock is a parking area. And I believe it's about the same distance, but I've never taken it, just the description alone said you climb like 400 feet in elevation towards the end, so I've never done it. <laughs> so anyway, if you notice there, we went in between the rocks, that's uh, what I was talking about, going in between the rocks. If you can see, those people are way over there on the trail, going up. Yeah, it's crazy. I can see tons of footprints here. Back then, there was nothing. And that was only, I said, probably 11 or 12 years ago. I mean, yeah, that's a long time, but it's also not a long time.
All right, I'm getting tired again. Imagine tripping right here and just falling in that. Whew, that'd suck. Alright, I think right here we're going to stop and take a break before we get to going up that. So we'll be back in a bit. Alright, break time's over. Time to get going up. And there are people coming down. I need to take a break again. to go again.
got some people coming. Don't see them anymore. These other people that were coming down, I guess they were going the wrong way. feel like they want to give out. <laughs> So I may have to stop again. <laughs> and that just ends right there. About 15, 20 feet in. just blows my mind that back in the day people would wander this far out from civilization and then just start digging and building a house you'll see the house in a little bit this hike's getting pretty long <laughs> but you'll have your direction all the way to it. Made the top. So that one time when I came up here and was searching, I went down in that area there, all up through here, and was searching all in and out of there. I don't think I ever paid attention to all this quartz here last time. It's all over. plane going over. I don't know if you can hear it.
to say it's that way. But it might be around the next one too, I'm not sure. But we're going to go this way. bit of a trail here again. Not as well defined, but there is a trail. And that's where we're going. Uh, let's see, can I see it on here? It's a big rock. I don't know if I'm pointing at it. It's at the edge of the cliff over there. That's where the house is. Just about there.
Alright, here's the mine coming up right here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can actually see part of the house from here as well. It is somewhat hidden. Anyway, here's the mine. Right here. I'm not going down there. I've been down there. Uh, it goes to a gate, and then you can't go any further. Uh, but I'm not going down there. <laughs> Gonna have to use your imagination on that one. I do hear some people, it sounds like. Side first. Now, we'll come back to it. We'll go over here and show you what's at the edge. rocks over there just kind of goes down and see way out there to 29 palms there might even be Wonder Valley area definitely a secluded spot People are in there laughing. <laughs> I don't know if they were expecting that. It's funny. And that's the, the window we were looking in from out there. Oh, that was a rat. <laughs> rat just went running across that wall over there. Oh, I think I just seen him again down there. Anyway. 
to guess his sleeping area. Got a little bench here. Kind of hard to see with the way the sun is. There you go. Bench. And it was just enclosed with rock. There's your roof. Probably barrel containers at some point. And that's about it. This is the Evil Cliff Mine House. As I call it. There's what's left of a thermometer. Soda. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you don't know how to get here, hopefully it uh, helps you find your way. See you next time.